Hello, hello everybody and welcome back. I am Hope, aka Little Ginge, and welcome to my first ever Planet Zoo speed build, which is very exciting, very cool. Venturing onto new things, many of you may know me for my um, Planet Zoo streams. I do a lot of streaming on Twitch, uh, playing Planet Zoo, I enjoy it greatly. Uh, it's, it's a very big fun time for me, I enjoy it. Um, but I thought I'd venture into the world of speed building here on YouTube to try and create some more maybe one-off enclosures or um, speeding up some processes of things we're doing on Twitch and also if people don't like watching like three hour long <laughs> streams of building but still want to know what I'm up to um, I may just speed build the things we build on stream as well um, so basically today we're building a hippo enclosure. I've got the idea of like a little inset. You walk down into this little like dugout space that is um, the hippo's habitat. Uh, this big deep hole that you see there is going to be their um, one of a few water pores that they've got. I wanted you to be the guests to be able to see within the water so you can sort of see the hippos swimming about. But yeah, that does work. Which is quite good. It's just a bit of a struggle to figure out with the um the fa the barriers. The barriers gave me a bit of trouble actually. I don't know why they kept going like to have max height and then I would have to move them down. It was very weird. But yeah. Um, this enclosure gave me a lot of pain. So I f haven't built with hippos before. I haven't built a habitat for hippos before. This was my first time, and um, I was quite very excited to do it. I think hippos are adorable and I've been wanting to build a habitat for them for a while I've just never had any inspiration and then I thought of this idea and was like you know what yeah I'll do it and I'll record it see if I can try and make my first speed build out of it and here we are but um I one forgot how big hippos are hippos are big animals I forgot that and two I didn't realize how hippos swam um I assumed It'd be very similar to all other aquatic animals in the game is that they just needed a shallow entrance and so they just swim about in the water alas that is not the case uh, hippos need to be able to walk along the bottom of the water and so the water don't doesn't need to really be that deep um but it needs to be reasonably flat and they need to be able to walk to, all the way to the bottom um and you will see soon that that pool i've just made they can't do that in right now and so it doesn't count and so i spend a lot of time in the later half of this video fixing all my problems because of the things i didn't realize about hippos in this game <laughs> or in real life i guess i didn't realize how massive they are um because they are uh but here i'm just building um i wanted to be so the guests could get like reasonably close to the hippos and so it would feel like a really like i guess personal experience um to come visit them uh and so i'm just building like a flower box in between you and the hippo almost uh, because obviously i one thing i do know about hippos they've got tiny little legs the tiniest of little legs and so a steep surface they would not be able to climb very easily um if at all uh so i thought obviously they would not be able to get to the um humans and so this is reasonably safe me to do and i thought it looked very nice also always a benefit if it looks nice and is practical uh so i built like a little fence out of a lot of this um a lot of the building in this speed build i use uh the new africa dlc um the africa pack uh, it's one of my favorite packs i really really enjoy it i really like how customizable every single item in the game is um very good very yes basically that's my answer to that. Uh, they're very good. Um, I'm going to apologise now if I stumble or seem to just go, um, uh, well, yeah, basically, yeah, well, mm, and stumble along my words. Uh, like I said, I'm a bit, of a I'm a Twitch streamer. I'm used to talking as I go instead of talking after I've gone, <laughs> almost. Um, and so I don't, I stumble a bit because I'm like, oh, well, I've done this. I know what I'm doing. I know what's, I know what's about to happen, especially since this is the third time me recording this voiceover because i've recorded the rest of the video everything else is done i'm just doing the voiceover now um i know this is how best in slot does his videos he he records everything and then does the voiceover after um and it works for him so i was like yeah it'll work for me however the first time i had audio issues 
um, phone stuff that get, kept getting picked up by my mic. Um, and then the second time, I was just stumbling on all my words. And so uh, I had to redo it. And so hopefully that doesn't happen this time. Uh, there I've just built like an interesting rock wall with plants on. Um, I'm continuing to do that uh, because I wanted like the side of the pool to look a lot more interesting. If you don't know me, I love house plants and I love collecting them. And I know that in the wild, uh, things like the Swiss cheese plant there and the alocasia actually genuinely do in, in the wild grow in rocks instead of like in soil. They're very tropical plants, so not the grassland that the um, hippos live in. Here I'm just adding flowers into the flower box. Those like pink flowers are really pretty. I'm really glad I found them and used them there. Otherwise it'd be very green. They add a bit of colour to the um, the very neutral monochrome enclosure that I do end up building. Here I'm fiddling with the um, habitat surround. And then here I'm going to build a building. So I really like, for some reason, building habitats where the animals like live in houses. Like their hard shelter is like a house. Um, and so I was trying to do that. I really like these mud walls, but I really and that entrance way is really really nice. But I really hate that they don't. The pattern doesn't link up. I like. I don't think it's meant to, but it really bugs me. So I went away with that and wanted to use um, some more of the uh, Africa pack plaster, uh, but that caused me a lot of hassle too, for whatever reason. So that those curved like corners there, they have like the smooth like curved top. Uh, but the smooth top, like, accessory to the straight wall doesn't line up, so they're not even. And that, I couldn't figure that out for some reason, so I just went away with it and decided to build um, a building similar to what uh, the Planet Zoo people built with the Africa pack when it came out. And, like, all the uh, blueprints. So very, like, flat and no um, depth within it. And then all the detail is added in within the actual plaster instead of as depth. Um... So that's what I've done. It's almost like a church building that I've built here, um, with a tower to one side. Um, I think it's I think it's quite nice. Obviously, the big main bit will be the, where the hippos do their sleeps, and then around it is just decoration, really, to make it look a bit more interesting. Just a square. Um, I added a glass roof because in my head the hippos want to see the sun. Do they want to see the sun? Probably not. They don't care. They live in the grassland in Africa. It's like 40 degrees. Um, but I thought it looked nice. And it made placing stuff within the enclosure a bit easier. These new um, columns. Beautiful. Very nice. I think the Africa pack. The reason it's all so customisable. Makes it one of my favourite packs that they've released. Um, because of how much you can change everything. I'm guessing. Go live notifications on my phone. Oh, I swear to God, if that's affected my microphone. I Not on Twitch. I'm trying to do this all in one take as well, so I'm trying not to cut anything out. So if you just... I apologise. Like I said, this is my first, like, um, speed build. And so I'm not used to talking over stuff. And I don't really know how to make words concise. I usually stream for, like, three hours. And so conciseness is not my forte. Um, so apologies. Hopefully I'll get better at it with time. Uh, so here, um, I wanted to make essentially a puddle, like a little paddling pool for the hippos. Uh, but because I built their whole enclosure within like a cutout bit of land, basically anywhere I wanted to put water, I could. And so every time I like tried to make it to the top of like the little um, well that I'd built, it just flooded the whole area, which was not fun. So I think I gave up after being annoyed by that and just put rocks all around to try and make the like dugout bit a bit more interesting and make it maybe look a bit more natural almost. Like it was a natural like formation of land that had just maybe like an old, I don't know, an old riverbed before it like dried up dried up. Who knows? I don't know why someone would have built a house on that, but there's not too much thought into the background of these habitats, just the fact that it might have happened. <laughs> and it looks nice, so what the hell. I really like this little rock 
like formation I made over here. I think it looks really nice. Or well, not that I've carried on doing it. Um, I'm trying to put a waterfall in. Um, here's a get. Here's a here's a spoiler. I this waterfall gets deleted because it didn't look nice. But a lot of the like, every, all of the stuff around the house that I built, um, I really liked. And then when I had all of my trouble with the hippos, I had to delete it all. Because look how nice it looks with all the grass. That grass item is amazing. It's one of my favourite like nature things they've added because the the animals actually walk through it instead of over it like a lot of the other like sort of grass bushy type items in the game here's me attempting with the water again they just looked a bit naff and i didn't like them so i really like that that um uh the enrichment item i tried to cover it in rocks to make it look a bit more natural it didn't work i think i sort of know now how i would cover it in rocks and sort of build it into a big archway in the middle of an enclosure. So that might be a, what something we do later on. Uh, but it wasn't working, so I just didn't do it. And then I covered in this hole, tried again, and then went, nope, no, I really won't do it now. Oh no. And then I went, no, I'll put, I'll put a mud bath down. Which I like, I like the mud bath. And then I was desperate to use it. I was really desperate to use it. And obviously because it's, having water out of it i wanted there to be like water around it so it sort of looked like it fit and the water just wasn't going nowhere um i think i settled on that for this bit i think that was okay but obviously add some rocks you know because why not i was very conscious that it, there was a very slim like area for the hippos to walk down into the enclosure um, that gets even slimmer later on in this video. Now I'm just putting plants around everywhere. Love a bit of plants. These trees here, I feel like they're called candelabra trees. They're not. I know that they're not. Um... Because why would they be called that? But that's what they look like. They're spelt like. So that's what in my head they're called. And then the big... I call them boba trees. They're not boba trees. But they're very similar. Similarly spelt. These ones are the candelabra trees. The boba trees. I like them as well. I can never seem to find them like a good spot. But I seem to have surrounding this enclosure. Which is quite good. And then I decorate the bottom of this pool. Here you can see that I didn't realise the hippos needed to be able to walk on the bottom of the pool. And so I decorated it all nice. Which is very... Very sad, realistically, by the time that I realised that <laughs> I had to delete it all after. I made this cute little archway. Who knows why, but um, it's there. Lots of rocks. I like the bottom of that pool. I thought it was nice. And then I deleted it. See, look, boba trees. Want to put them everywhere, but they no. And willow trees. Love them as well, but none of the, they all ruined like the eye line. And so um, I had to put them surrounding the area instead of within it. Oh, and the new pack added lots of tiny little trees. And I love them. They're very good for wanting to add foliage but not wanting it to get in the way. Which is ideal. And then I'm just adding more like education boards. So the uh, guests can be edumacated on hippos. Because who doesn't want to be edumacated on hippos, eh? I know I do. Love, love some hippos. They're very cute. I can't wait for them to have babies. Little baby hippos. That's grass. Using that again. More boba trees. And then just adding like trees behind the enclosure. So it, if you were stood on the platform, it didn't look like... It just went off into the distance. And then here's my hippo pride rock. He's so happy doing a little raw look on this little pride rock. I just wanted to have a little statue so you knew there are hippos here. Even though if you got down to this point, you've probably seen a hippo. But um, beside the point, I'm quite proud of this little area. I think it looks really nice. The, they look, like even though it's a telly screen there, it looks quite naturally like placed. And then here I wanted, like, a because it was such a big open space and obviously further back, the guests can't see the hippos and they won't stand there. So I wanted, like, a little area almost for, like, a rest area. And so I want to call this a pergola. I don't know what it's, like, actually called, but that's what my dad wants to build one in our garden. He says it's a pergola, so that's what I'm going to call it. Um, 
I really like the like pre-made blueprint version of it. That one. <laughs> and so that's basically what I'm going off but trying to make it a bigger version of it. Um, because I just wanted the air an area of where the guests can sit and like uh, get out of the sun and chill for a little bit. Watch the hippos doing a little swimmy swim and having a good fun time. And so I just wanted that a little area for them. And plus it filled in the space which is ideal. Um, it's always a pain to try and get everything to line up properly. But I managed it thankfully. Just about. It might not be perfectly even but it works. I can't tell and usually I can so so yeah I added ivy over I didn't want to do the big chunks of ivy in every single one so I think that looks unnatural even though it is unnatural um, I didn't want it to be completely unnatural and so I like changed where it grew and I think it looks quite nice really added some benches in for that whole relaxation and then the bins again look how much you can change the color of the bins it's so nice so that little area was done and then I needed to, uh, needed to add some stuff at the top over here. Uh, added a vista point to see how that works. It works quite well, draws a lot of people in. I think I set it to look at the feeder so when they get fed people can look at the... Um, people are drawn to watching the hippos feed. So I added in all these rocks forgetting I hadn't connected the path to the main path so no guests could actually get to see the hippos. So those rocks aren't there later because they need to obviously get down. Added some benches, these new benches are really nice. And I think that's the end of this first one. Oh, no, I added a fountain, I need to move that fountain because people are clipping into it. And so here I realized they had no water and not enough land space and no hard shelter, which is a really fun time. So first I fixed, the, fixed them not being able to get into their house. I basically just got rid of the side, um, side wall so they could walk in because um, from the front it still looks fine. But it meant the hippos can actually enter the hard shelter instead of not having any. It still wasn't enough, annoyingly, but it'll be fine. And then here's me just changing the habitat over and over again. Um, I keep, like, removing all the barriers, making stuff wider, and then having to remove the barriers again because it's not wide enough. So you see quite a lot of the hippos' enclosures here. Like, the species, and look, everything I did all to be deleted. Oh, it's so sad. And here me um, deleting all the the land next to it. And I decided I could use the other side of this plaza for space. Because obviously people would be able to easily see it. Um, and I thought it would be an area that the guests can like look down on the hippos um, swimming. Because obviously where they walk along the um, bottom of the pool. Because the pool isn't that deep you can actually see the hippos from above and you can see them walking about which I think was would be quite nice for a guest I assume there's me adding more water but it's not not enough water so I add even more even more water still not enough but then I, I don't know when I realize that uh, the pool I originally made isn't being counted it's probably when I check where they can go Because I also needed more land space, so even though I was adding in more water anyway, I needed to add more land. So I added even more water. I ended up deleting that again though, when I realised what I'd done, because I wanted the hippos to be drawn more to the front two pools of water by where the guests are than the back one. But I guess it's also nice for them to have like a hidden pool where they don't feel like eyes on them all the time. And then I'm just adding another flower, flower bed in so it looks coherent and not like I added it in when I realised that the enclosure wasn't big enough. Um, I think it looked alright in the end and it all blended in. It's probably a bit funky in the corner here where I didn't build it all as one thing but it's better than nothing. And then my lovely little rock pile, very sad. And then here, I realised here that the bottom of this pool wasn't flat enough and they couldn't get in so... Everything's deleted. I, however, it meant I could w bring up the uh, bottom of the pool so they could be seen better from the window, actually. Um, and then struggled for ages to try and get like an entrance in because it was so sheer either side they couldn't actually access 
the water. Now they can, which is great. And so it was just me trying to... The terrain tools are a bit awkward sometimes, but I think that's just because I'm not very good at them <laughs> yet. So I just need to get used to them, and then they should be able to... They can now access it, which is always good. It was just a pain trying to sort everything out and making it all look nice and coherent and flat. And then I realised how little of like a pathway in they had, but I guess it it's okay. Better than nothing. <laughs> the keeper can still get everywhere, so it's all fine. Oh, we've paused there. Must be changing the music or something. And again. Oh. So here I'm just building the fence around again, making sure it's all coherent and flows nicely. Always ideal. It's very good. I quite like this fence. I built it obviously from scratch. And then here's, I've added the fence on. I added the path on even. So I added some more of this stuff. Um, and yeah. And then I build them there. Although like, um... Hard shelter. I didn't want them to... I wanted to try and remake my little rock formation. It's not quite as good, but it's okay. Uh, and I realised that I didn't want... To, I tried... I want... Thought about... I don't know, words. I thought about um, making them another house, but it didn't quite work. Uh, so I just made them a rock pile, basically. <laughs> yeah, look, I checked that they could get everywhere. Made sure that was all right. Any, and then, yeah, here's here's me making the back pool a bit smaller so that they um sort of m might be more inclined to use the front two. And obviously I put all the enrichment stuff near the front two, so hopefully it works. As we may be building a house but didn't. And then decided a little rock formation will be fine. It's just a bit of shelter by the tree. I probably could have made it look like it blended in a bit more, but I think it's fine to be fair. I think it's okay. For a zoo, I don't think we can put complain much. And then made them a little wall, like a motif almost, to sort of blend in the building, because otherwise the building looked a bit like odd on its own. Um, and yeah, and I put some little hippos on it, and it's very nice. But, um... Yes! I think it turned out alright in the end. A bit of a hiccup, but I think it was nice. I enjoyed building it, and... Um, you live and you learn, I guess. You live and you learn and you move and you learn. So, hopefully you enjoyed the speed build. We're going to go to a voiceover in a minute in-game. Um, and yeah, thank you so much. Well, hello everybody. This is the... Um, Pain in my ass enclosure, a hippo enclosure that I built. They are very cute, they're very cute little hippo boys. They're very nice indeed. But this, I'm sure, I haven't recorded the voiceover yet for the time lapse we've just watched, but um, I'm sure I will explain my frustration thoroughly. But um, yeah, I just wanted to sort of give a overview of how the zoo looked when we are in game. I think it works very nicely. I think the guest areas um, are very cute as well. I think this is nice vibes. Good, nice vibes indeed. And you can even watch them walk about. Oh, and a another hippo has just arrived. Hello, boys. So I think I explained. Uh, I probably will explain. But I uh, didn't realise that hippos needed to be able to walk on the water. Um, bit kiddie. I didn't realise that. So, um, all the little noises they make. So that was a, um, pitfall of my own. Um, I think they are now able to walk. What am I doing with the camera? They are now able to walk everywhere they go and they can walk all along. Which is good! Which is what we want. And there's lots of people. What? I don't care. That's not my issue. Um... But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my first speed build. I need to, I probably should have like covered up this back wall with rock or something, but um, I think I just wanted to get this 
speed build over and done with because it was being a whole pain. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you'd like to subscribe and have uh, come back for more speed builds. I plan on doing more, especially now I've figured out how to edit them all. Um, but yeah, thank you, thank you. I shall see you all very soon. Bye!